the aging last-gen Colorado was solid. The new one gets fresh engines and new everything. Like the old saying, always a bridesmaid, never a bride. The Chevrolet Colorado midsize pickup has perpetually found itself to be a sort of wallflower in the public imagination. Never mind that the outgoing truck essentially shares the top spot in our ultimate car rankings for the midsize class with its mechanical twin, the GMC Canyon. The unassuming Chevy chases the Toyota Tacoma for the top spot on the sales chart, and isn't as interesting as Jeep's Gladiator or refined as Honda's car based Ridgeline. It's just kind of. There. The all new third generation Colorado arriving for the 2023 model year actually tries to stand out while keeping the old truck's essential excellence intact. When Chevrolet introduced the second generation Colorado in 2015, the company marketed it as an all new pickup. In reality, it was a new to North America take on a truck General Motors had been selling in global markets since 2011. The automaker upgraded the chassis from the version sold in Thailand and South America and such, so as to match American customers' use cases. But the old Colorado simply looked old, even when it was new here in America, mostly because it was. Consider the bar for the third generation truck pictured here, then, rather low. Chevy clears it easily, however, with a truly all new truck. The 2023 Colorado starts with a new frame derived from the larger Silverado 1500. Relative to the old Colorado, this one's front axle is moved forward, stretching the wheelbase by 3.1 inches and decreasing the front overhang. The new six lug wheel bolt pattern also is pulled down from the Silverado, opening up a world of beefy aftermarket wheel choices to customers. From the factory, there is a newfound focus on off road capability, and more than half the lineup is now made up of off road variants such that there are two available track widths and three different ride heights on offer. Chevy contracts choices when it comes to cab and bed length options, however. Gone are the old extended cab and long bed options. The new Colorado is offered only in a crew cab, short bed configuration. Chevrolet also mercifully acts the former Colorado's soft and bubbly exterior in favor of a blocky style with squared-off fender bulges, rugged design cues, and a front fascia that is more Silverado-like in nature. Each of the five trim levels wears a unique grille design. 2023 Chevrolet Colorado First Drive, one of the best midsizers asserts itself the aging last-gen Colorado was solid. The new one gets fresh engines and new. When it comes to highway ride quality, the new Colorado is about as good as one would expect from a body-on-frame pickup. Expansion joints, potholes, and general broken pavement is handled with ease. However, extremely poorly maintained highways will send shutters through the truck's rigid chassis, with the twin tube dampers quickly losing their ability to keep up. Impressively, Standard ride height Colorado models are quite competent when it comes to carving mountain roads, cornering with the composure of vehicles half this size. Naturally, the lifted suspension on the trail boss allows notably more body roll on ribbons of asphalt, but such are the trade-offs for rugged capability. With three out of the new Colorado's five trims being off-road themed, it's no surprise that the truck performs admirably when pavement gives way to dirt. We had the opportunity to pilot both the Z71 and Trail Boss on a quick off-road jaunt and were pleasantly impressed by the truck's decent ride quality, suspension articulation, and grippy tires. Chevy's terrain drive mode is still a fun novelty, allowing for one-pedal driving in slow-speed off-road maneuvers. Like in an EV, there is no need to touch the brakes, simply lift off the accelerator to slow down, allowing finer control on slippery inclines. While we'd love to see a quality monotube damper added to these off-road packages, the truck's twin tube shocks perform decently over mild humps and bumps. Too much speed causes excess head toss and an uncomfortable experience, and you will scrape the removable front spoiler on standard height Z71S with even moderate trail work. After driving four of the five new Colorado trims, we can declare a sweet spot in the lineup, Z71. The Z71 trim features the more upscale interior of the LT, the Turbo Plus engine, standard ride height, standard track width, all-terrain tires, and the G80 automatic locking differential. Adding all of the popular technology and capability packages brings the price tag to right around $45,000, which is a fantastic value for a four-wheel drive midsize pickup that has what could be a best-in-class engine, a comfortable highway ride, off-road competence, and can tow up to 7,700 pounds. Production of the all-new Colorado has just begun at the company's Wentzville, Missouri assembly plant and the first deliveries to dealerships is slated to happen in early spring. Evrica Channel